Y'all, I am ticked off. I'm frustrated because I worked my ass off. Like, for real. Yeah, they mad, cause we fuck the city up. Yeah, they mad, murder, murder, link it up. Yeah, they mad, cause they back from them boots. We got them choppers in here, bitch, no running up. Yeah, they mad, cause we fuck the city up. What is up, Cat Fan Squad? How you doing? It's Marvelous Day that the Lord has blessed us with. And today, I am back with another video. So, yes, I've been gone a while. Yes, I look like, I, I look a mess. I literally just woke up. But, I'm doing this video for y'all. Excuse how I look. Like, for real, excuse how I look. But, I'm doing this video for y'all because y'all want the video. My Instagram want the video and all that. So, today's video, I am doing... A skincare routine so just a disclaimer out there I'm not gonna be washing my face why 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 about it because it takes me like an hour or two just to wash my face moisturize and I'd add some little extra stuff into it I ain't gonna be doing all that but I will show you the product that I do use and where you can also find the products because you wanna know why? Cause I love y'all. Like that's how much I care. Like, like I love y'all. So let's go ahead and get to this video because huh, I'm gonna show y'all what, what's gonna happen. Okay? Whoa. Chicken body, <laughs> man, <laughs> First thing we're gonna start off is soaps. Now, personally, me, I use soaps that have naturally natural ingredients in it. And the soaps that I use have natural ingredients, and it definitely helps me except for one soap. But you know, I would just put that out there. The first soap I actually use is my Dove. My Dove soap helps me with moisturizing and getting deep in my pores to leave my skin feeling clean and fresh, like a lotion mixed with soap, and it just feels so good just to moisturize and get out of dirt and unclog your pores and all that. Then it leaves your skin feeling so fresh and smooth. Like for real, like I'm so serious. So get you some Dove, you can go to your Walmart, Walgreens, any store that has soap, go on the Dove app, get you some Dove, like for real y'all. Like I'm so serious. The next soap I use is my goat milk soap. My goat milk soap I started using but I noticed I've been getting a lot of bumps in my forehead. Like, Nasty bitch. Like pimples. So I cut that out. I had to, you know, I had to back off the go soap because I can't go to school with no pimples on my face. I'm trying to have a glowing face like, like, whoa, like, come on now. Like, come on now. So for the folks out there that use go soap, if that works for you, that works for you. But I know uh, you can go to your local barbershop. Barbershops should, you know, it's that one man that sells soaps and stuff. If you have that person, ask them for some ghost soap. It might work for you. It kind of worked for me, but you know, I usually don't use ghost soap like that anyway. So, yeah. The next soap I use is this soap. I forgot what it's called. I don't know. I forgot what it's called, but. I'm gonna put a picture and stuff like somewhere, but this soap has helped me a lot. Like this soap is the best soap that can get rid of acne that uh breaks down the bacteria. And when you wash the back and when you wash the bacteria out, it goes with it. Like that soap clicks to the bacteria, dissolves, and it just goes away. Like this soap is good. So I'm gonna. I'm going to put a picture up there, whatever, so I can get you some soap like that, because that soap is good. The next soap I use to get rid of black spots and all that good stuff is my natural raw African black soap. You can get this at your beauty supply stuff for a dollar, like for real, like I'm so serious, you can get that for a dollar. But black soap has, has helped me a lot because I noticed that I've been getting a lot of dark spots on my face 
and I hate dark spots. Like, I really hate dark spots because it makes me look different. I feel like I look ugly as hell. Just, I don't like my dark spots. I don't like dark spots at all. So, somebody recommended me to the black soap, and it has been working out. Like, y'all, when I say I had a lot of dark spots, I had a lot of dark spots. Like, I'm so serious. But, yes. Get you some black African soap from your local beauty supply store. You can go to Dollar General. You can go to Dollar Tree. You can also go to Walmart, Walgreens. Now, a little disclaimer again. I don't use a spin brush. I don't fuck with you. You little stupid ass bitch. I ain't fucking with you. Because every time I get a spin brush, I always break it or it always don't want to work when I need it. So, I don't do spin brushes like that no more until I find me a real good one. But the the thing I use to get deep in my pores and to, it, uh, to make my pores open and get all the bacteria and exfoliate my skin are these pads that you can get from Dollar Tree. As you see the little neck thing. They work perfectly like a screw, like a oh, uh, like a spin brush. They work perfectly, and it gets deep, like it really gets deep down in your skin. Now on to the moisturizer. Now the moisturizer that I use on a daily basis, I'm gonna start off with my skin repair cream. I use this when I have cracked skin. Like if I feel like my skin is gonna crack. I put this on like the area I feel like it's going to crank and y'all when I tell y'all it nourishes and conditions dry skin and cracked skin that's exactly what I get so if you have cracked skin go get you some of this from Walgreens Walmart they sell it at Walgreens and Walmart I know for a fact the next thing I also use is my moisture therapy bottle lotion uh, you know, this lotion is a body lotion and face lotion and it helps for extra dry skin and leave a glow like this right here has helped me like I have had dry skin all my life and when I got this dry skin what dry skin who I know you fucking lying so go get you some of these moisture therapy you can get it at your Walgreens or your local Walmart it ain't that high just to go get your song. Just go get your song and just thank me later. Now, the next thing I use for my face is this Auto Fresh Body Lotion, Face Lotion. Now, y'all know Aloe Vera is good for your skin because it keeps it moisturized and it keeps it moisturized like all day and it keeps a soft glow to it. So, picture this in a lotion form, and the lotion form can stay on your face or your body all day. So, I put these little drops around my face. Use this moisture body lotion, face lotion, for skin relief. It helps with dehydration, skin relief, and cracked skin, and it's not greasy at all. Like, no oils, no nothing. So, go get you some of these. I got this from Dollar Tree. The next thing I use is, I kind of, this was prescribed to me by my doctor. But I don't know if you can see it, but this is Motazone ointment. I use this when I have like little pimples, and I just do that. Like I put on the pimple, and overnight it's gone. So if you want to get rid of your pimples and stuff like that fast, ask your doctor about Motazone ointment. Like, now, if you want to get your skin tone back, I recommend the 100% yellow shave butter. You can get this at a beauty supply store for a dollar. I got this from the beauty supply store for like a dollar. Like for real. That's all I got. And y'all know Shea Butter helps with toning your skin back. We're done with the moisturizer. Now on to the mask. Y'all, the mask that I use, I have different masks that I use every day. But I'm going to start off with my natural mask. My natural masks are masks that are natural ingredients that I can whip up in the kitchen, put on my face, wash it off, and bam, there you go. The first mask I'm gonna start off with is my cinnamon mask. This 
is a mask that is so good for your skin. Like, I'm so serious. All you need is two tablespoons of cinnamon and uh, one tablespoon of honey. Mix it up and you'll pat on your face. You gotta leave it on for at least four to five minutes. Rinse it off really, 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 really good. And bam, your skin is glowing, feeling fresh, feeling clean. And the cinnamon kills bacteria and the honey has vitamin D or C that helps, you know, bring that glow to your skin and bring that moisture out. So y'all can make this at home. The next mask I use that's natural is my egg wash aloe vera with Vaseline mask. That's bullshit. This mask has helped me with keeping my skin moisturized and keeping my skin from looking cracked and dry. You need one table, well, not one tablespoon, but an egg, you need Vaseline, a pinch of olive barrel, a pinch of baking soda, and a pinch of Timorock powder. But this will help you moisturize your face. You apply it on your face, leave it on for a good, like five minutes, rinse it off really, really good, no residue or nothing, and bam, your face is already glowing, clean, and moisturized. The next mask, I recommend for my people that have dark spots and acne and they want to get rid of it like all every day, all the rest of their life is my Timorock mask. You can't really see it, but my Timorock mask is a mask that has Timorock, raw honey, a pitch of baking soda, and a pitch of tea tree oil. You mix that up and you will get a chunky like substance and you got to add water to it, like a tablespoon of water like two. It depends on how big the container is, but you mix it up real good with water and you apply it on your face. You gotta leave it on for at least 10 minutes until it's dry. And when it dries, you rinse it off. But I'm gonna tell you now, the Tamarock mask will leave a yellow residue. So you gotta make sure after you get done, you wash your face with soap and water and a towel or scrub or whatever that and really get deep down there. So you can get all the Tamarock stuff out and the Tamarock mask will leave your skin glowing fresh. The other masks that I use are kind of not natural, but they're kind of like, okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna go and start and don't judge me, but yes, I do put my mask in the bag because I don't like using up all my stuff. So this mask is um, a mint kind of mask. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I forgot the name of it, but this mask helps with acne and gets all the oil and everything out when it dries up. Like when it dries, it gets all the oil, the gunk, everything out your face. Like you will look different when you put this mask on. I put this mask on once a week because if you use this mask every day, it can cause a chemical burn to your face. And I have experienced that and you do not want the experience. So y'all put this on for once a week. The next mask I use is a charcoal mask. Yes. The charcoal mask is kind of harmful to some people, but I use it only on my nose or areas where I feel like I have white heads. But this mask helps, I'm going to put it on the screen, we can get it, what it looks like. You can get this at Target, Walgreens, your local beauty supply store. Um, definitely, you can definitely get it at Target, for real. But I'm putting it on the screen, so get your bottle of this, it's very, very cheap. And yeah, this will help you get all the blackhead stuff out. It's a soap form, and when it foams up, you just rinse it off, and like no blackheads, a glow, a texture glow, all this stuff is good. It's, it's just good. Like, get y'all some of it. Now, on to my mouth routine. Now, for the folks out there that know me, I like to keep my teeth. Y'all, my face is, I love my face like I'm so serious like I love my face but I really love my mouth more so my mouth routine is about brushing my teeth and a lip screw now I'm gonna start out with the brushing teeth I use 3D crisp white toothpaste I use dip and some baking soda you can get baking soda you can get your baking soda from anywhere but I recommend crisp white because it gets deeper your enamel and gets all the plaque and when you add baking soda you would actually your teeth would look so white, like it made my teeth look a lot white, like like just it just I don't know. It's something about it that gets deep into the enamel of your teeth. And when I tell y'all it works perfectly good for me, it works perfectly good for me. Now my next thing I use when I get done brushing my teeth, I like to work on my lips. Now a lot of people ask me a, a lot, like how you get bigger lips, why your lips so pink and all that. Like people, like if I walk on the street, oh y'all lips juicy. Let me get y'all number. 
Hey, cuz, you know, my girl don't like my lips. My lips kind of ugly. She help me out. Like, a lot of females, like, your lips, like, like, what you doing, my? Like, cuz, come on, cuz, help me out. Help a cuz out, cuz. Oh, my God, Kevin. Like, your lips is juicy as hell. Like, Kevin, like, baby, boy, like, you need to come my way. Like, like, oh, my God. Like, oh, your lips so pink and juicy. Like, but yeah, a lot of people ask me, them the questions I get every time, but with comments and stuff every time. So yeah, I will teach you how to get pink and exfoliate your lips to a point where you will get people to recognize your lips. So the first thing I can use is a natural ingredient I made a lip scrub. A lip scrub to me helps me a lot and it definitely gets deep in your lips like it gets out of dead skin off and it definitely it's full at your lips like your lips will look plump and juicy and everything so the stuff i use in this is i use paprika honey and i use a pitch just a pit like a like like one little drop of tea tree oil and i tell y'all this works perfectly fine for me and it gets your lips looking pink and exfoliate at your lips like, your lips will be thanking me. Like, I'm so serious. Now, I'm going to tell you after it's going to kind of burn a little bit. But do it on your own terms. Like, you can take the pain. You can put some cold water, get you some ice, and it'll be looking good. Now, when I put this on, I like to use a toothbrush, too. Like, I get a, tooth, a regular toothbrush you can find at Dollar Tree, whatever. And I go in, and I get that scrub, and I scrub my lips with the toothbrush on it. Like, I get on the top lip, bottom lip, my corner, and everything. Like, so, yeah, I use a, I got two toothbrushes, and I use one for my lips and one for my teeth. But get your toothbrush, and it's full at your lip, and it helps your lips get all the dead skin, bacteria, and, like, it just works perfectly fine. So, after I get done using my lip scrub, I have to use Carmex. Or I like to use my strawberry Vaseline that's in the uh in the uh in the little container at you know you can get this at Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart, wherever you can find the beauty supply stores, I'm gonna put on the screen. That helps with uh making your lips kind of like making your I say weak, making your lips plump and it kind of makes your lips kind of greasy and moisturized and pink. Not to the point where you're gonna look like you wear lipstick. But you know, just like pink, pink, like, you know, like a good natural pink lips. So yeah, I recommend all those to you. You can find these ingredients in your cabinet. You can find sugar in your cabinet. You can find your toothbrushes at Dollar Tree. You can find your car makes at Dollar Tree, beauty supply stores. You can just find all this stuff at a Dollar Tree. Like all this stuff. Or to my skin, how to get rid of bacteria in my skin. Now, for folks out there that know me, I like to go extra and extreme. So, I use these Stridex pads. Like, I use these to go back over my face. Like, if I'm getting done washing my face and stuff, I have to go back over with the pad just see I got all the residue off. And y'all, this stuff works perfectly good for me. Like, you can get this at Dollar General, Dollar Tree. You can get this at your Target, local Walmart, and all that. But right now, I have ran out, so somebody recommend me using Witch Hazel, and Witch Hazel is a good skin tone toner too. And when I tell y'all, it makes your skin it like it it it, it can definitely Witch Hazel can definitely get your skin tone back, like for real. So I put Witch Hazel and I put uh, some little mini pads in here. Get the Witch Hazel, all that good stuff, and bam, your skin tone everything, and it gets all the bacteria, leftover stuff, bacteria, all that stuff out. But I do recommend the Stridex stuff to you, so yeah, you can get that. And another thing I use for my face to get rid of these black spots that I really, really hate is apple cider mixed with water. I use this little container, it's filled with apple cider and water. I use that to dab my black spots because black spots are just full of bacteria and the apple cider vinegar gets deep down in your pores and it kills the bacteria. But you gotta wash it off. Like when you dab it, leave it on for a minute, and you gotta wash it out just to get rid of the bacteria. Like you know, for real, like just to get rid of it. all of it. So I definitely recommend you get some apple cider vinegar mixed with some water. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of water, mix it up really, really, really good, and bam, you're good to go. And when I tell y'all, your skin and your lips, your your nose, everything will look good with the stuff. 
that I showed y'all, like for real, like y'all need to go get some of this stuff. And I would definitely put pictures and stuff of my skin, how my skin was glowing, but you know, I kind of been slacking a little bit, so my skin not kind of glowing right now. Go get you some of these ingredients. You can definitely make some of these ingredients at your house. Just go in the cabinet and find half of the stuff. Like, and it's on budget. Like, everything you get from the Dollar Tree, Target, all that good stuff. You don't have to go online and order all this other stuff. Just go to Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart, get your stuff like that. Like, come on, man, like, for real. But that's the end of this video. I'm sorry if I may have sound sick or you hear a noise or whatever. But, yeah, I kind of woke up and my nose was like, stop those. I was like, ugh, like, ugh. Thank y'all for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, give me some feedback on how I did. Just give me feedback. Then um, the stuff I use works for me. So if you want to use half of this stuff, then that's perfectly fine. But I'm just telling you that it might not work for you. It definitely worked for me. But you know, just try to, you know, use some of this stuff you want to on your own time. But yeah. So thank y'all for watching. And you have a blessed day. Ow. Ow.